when I got my first headset rooted cable bikes, I'm like, it looks amazing. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan. Unfortunately, it's, it's like this amazing can of worms. So you start, at, OK, I'm going to change my gear cable and shifter cable, which if it's all rooted OK the first time around and say like it's got foams in to, to stop it rattling, if it's just loose, you can get some of the guide kits like Park do one that, that threads in and you can yeah, pull the routing them. through. Yeah, yeah, I get it. But often there's routing through the chainstay on suspension bikes and then it gets oh, a bit complicated. Yeah. So you've got I've to come take, out the framing into that bit. Yeah, so you've got to take bottom bracket out. Oof. I think it's worse on rear brakes though is because of the way that the cable is, it sort of gets a bit kinked and it can get caught at about a 90 degree angle. So essentially, if you're having to do anything with a rear brake or you want to change your stem length and then it's now not that, long enough. That's a problem. And you've chopped down your brake hoses and you've got hardly any room to manoeuvre. Yeah, you don't have any. So it's new hose time as well. So 